students who study the cardiac cycle undoubtedly face the challenge of trying to link all of the separate phenomena which are occurring together in this cycle. One of the phenomena which changes over the course of the cardiac cycle is ventricular volume. Ventricular volume increases until the ventricles are full and then the ventricles eject blood and ventricular volume decreases. Here you can see right ventricle man lounging about, clearly in diastole. And after the systole of the previous cardiac cycle, um, the right ventricle is relatively empty, perhaps with only 50 milliliters of blood. And once the AV valve opens, the tricuspid, and blood enters the right ventricle, um, the right ventricle becomes uh, more full of blood until it reaches its greatest volume, its end diastolic volume, when it is as full as it will get, perhaps with 120 milliliters uh, of blood. In the same way, left ventricle woman is relatively empty at the end of the systole of the previous cardiac cycle. Her end systolic volume of perhaps 50 mil, uh, milliliters is as empty as she gets. But once the bicuspid AV valve opens, then blood rushes into the left ventricle and it begins to fill. At the end of the left ventricle's diastole, it is now reaching its greatest volume, at the, uh, which is its end diastolic volume. It is as full as it will get with perhaps 120 milliliters of blood. A split second after the ventricles begin their systole, the semilunar valves open, which allows the right ventricle, which is full and obviously contracting here in systole, to eject blood. And as blood leaves the right ventricle into the pulmonary trunk, the volume of blood in the ventricle decreases until when its systole is over, it is relatively empty, reaching its lowest volume, its end systolic volume. And the amount of blood which was ejected is equal to the full volume, the end diastolic volume, minus the volume at its emptiest, the end systolic volume. This is equal to the stroke volume of about 70 milliliters. In the same way, the left ventricle undergoes systole at the beginning of the QRS complex, and the aortic semilunar valve opens, allowing the left ventricle to eject blood. As blood leaves the left ventricle, the volume of blood in the left ventricle decreases, going from its maximum, its end diastolic volume, uh, to its minimum, its emptiest point of about 50 milliliters, uh, at the uh, end systolic volume. And as a result, the stroke volume, the amount of blood which was ejected in one heartbeat, is equal to about 70 milliliters. The EDV of 120 milliliters minus the ESV of 50 milliliters. It should be noted, however, that the numbers for the end diastolic volume, end systolic volume, and stroke volume are just typical examples used here. Obviously, the size of one's heart uh, will cause these values to vary, and that can change over the course of one's life. Um, there are gender differences. There are differences between uh, young people, adults, and uh, older adults. Uh, it can change as heart rate changes uh, because a slower heart rate will allow more time for ventricular filling. So it should be noted that these are not absolute values, uh, but simply average uh, values which are used here.